Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I will be demonstrating how to set up the pulse output unit for the NXIO with EtherCAT coupler without assigning it as a servo axis. The system consists of a SysMac NJ, NXIO with pulse output unit, and a stepper or Smart Step 2 or G5 motor and amplifier. I have created a project in SysMac Studio, added a terminal coupler for the EtherCAT along with an output unit, an input unit, a pulse output unit, and a high speed counter input. I'm going to double click on the PG0122, my pulse output unit, and I'm going to set this up to be in command velocity continuous pulse output mode. This will allow me to change the speed of the motor. I will now go to the I.O. map and create my device variables by right mouse clicking on the NX ECC 201. My device variables are now created. I have rebuilt or compiled my project, gone online, and synchronized, downloading the program. I have added a watch tab here at the bottom and added quick stop, enable voltage, enable operation, switch one on, command position, command velocity, and commanded present position. I will put in a command position of 2500 because my motor happens to be a 2500 pulse per revolution motor and I'll say go at speed of 500 pulses per second. I'll turn on the quick stop which disables the quick stop. Enable voltage. Enable operation. And now when I turn the switch on you'll notice the command position down here change and moving to the 2500 pulses. and it is now complete. I can change this value to let's say 5000 and it will move immediately to that new position. And I can also say well, let's go to zero position or my home. And it moves there. And that is how to set up the pulse output unit without setting it as a servo axis. Thank you and stay tuned for more Omron quick tip videos.